Alright guys, what's up, what's up YouTube, it's your boy G Content again, I'm back with another tutorial. So today guys, it's gonna be real short tutorial, okay? It's gonna be straightforward. So today, as you write the title, I'm going to be showing you how to know the key and the BPM of a beat or of any song, okay? It's really simple. Uh, some people do that by ears, they are like really professional in there. But you don't have to worry about anything. The technology has advanced a lot. So, first of all, um, there is a, a lot of websites that you can visit for free to get everything that you need about the key and the symbol. Just go to your Google and then type key and BPM finder. Then press enter. So it's going to bring a lot of results. Uh, I like using the tune, tune, TuneBed. TuneBed.com, okay? And then just click on one of these. So you can choose your file or you can just uh, you can just uh, drag and drop just like that. And it will take a few seconds depending on network. And then as you can see, right now we have the key. We are in the D major. And then the BPM is 100. So I can just go right away and then type 100. Okay, whatever BPM that is. Now in this case is 100. And the keys, the key of this beat or of this song, I can just go ahead and use my picture. And I love, I love using Wave Wheel Tuner. So we can just go here and select our major, D major, D major. Now you can't hear anything because I'm not speaking through this um, input. Okay, so right now we are good to go. So there are a lot of ways. They have a lot of website. So sometimes you have to do like a couple of them to make sure it's accurate. Okay, now it says it's D major, 100 BPM. Now let's try the next one. Next one is vocal remover, vocalremover.org.org. Click on this and then go to your beat, drag and drop. And it's going to take a few seconds to process all data. So now it says the BPM is 100. The key is D major. So these softwares or these websites, they work the majority of time, like maybe 99%, unless the beat is messed up. But if the beat is clear enough, of course, it will detect it. So now let's go to the next one. Yeah, I love using these two. Song Key Finder. It's a... Oh yeah, so what you have to do, just the same thing, just drag and drop. And now it's gonna take a few seconds to load everything. So you don't have to worry about what's the key of this speed. What you have to do, just drag and drop. The technology has advanced a lot. So let's take advantage of it. All right, now it's processing almost there, almost there. Yeah, this one takes a little bit of more time. Okay, now we can see here, the key is D major, okay? So everything is accurate. Do you wanna try more? Of course. So, now let's try this one. Yeah, so for this next one, you can just type it in. So guys, by the way, that's how you can find the BPM, the key and BPM of any song or any beat. So you don't have to worry. Okay, let's say in case you don't want to go or you have an uh, internet connection, what you can do is to guess, okay? So let's say I just recorded a vocal. So let me put my beat in. So that's the beat, okay? And let's say I don't have the internet connection. So, so now you can just use your best guess, okay? Just um, if you already have vocals, just go to your auto tune, wherever you are using. I'm using Waves tune, real time tune. And then you can just go like, let's start by major and then start sweeping one by one, listen. And then your ears will be able to tell, okay, this is the right key or this is not. So just try, try all these are sharp and flat, just one by one. So always take your time. But the best way is to use the website that you use automatically. And a few seconds, a minute, you should be good to go. So that's how you find the key 
of any song and the BPM. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's your boy, Crevis. See you next time. Always stay creative. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs>